Hi, I'm Erin, um, and I saw a recipe for spaghetti sushi on the Tastemade app, and I thought, I could make that. I could make that. I could make that. I could make that. Step one, cooking pasta in the boiling salted water. Looks like we're good on that. Lay the pasta out on a sushi mat in perfect lines, pressing gently to allow the pasta to adhere together. All right, you're just gonna go ahead and, this seems like such an extra way to do this. You could just use like lasagna slices, right? Or like lasagna noodles, right? I wonder if I put like a bunch and then like, roll them out like with my fingers a little bit. Doesn't really do what I was hoping. Back when I was little, I like would not put any sauce on my spaghetti in general. So I'd put like a shit ton of butter and then like maybe like a cup of ranch. <laughs> that's like, that's how I ate my spaghetti. Okay, you know what? I feel like this has got to, this is good. In a small bowl, mix marinara sauce, ricotta cheese and Parmesan. I mean, it's gonna eye, kind of eyeball it. So I feel like I know what it looks like now, so I know how much of the <sighs> innards I need to make. <sighs> Hold on. <laughs> so many people do more difficult things every day. I can do this. Oh! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Three quarters of a cup, but I didn't use all of this. So I'm gonna do two quarters of a cup, because it's math. I do it in my head, because I'm so good at it. One cup of ricotta cheese, okay. Quarter cup of grated Parmesan. That's like a quarter cup. Everybody likes Parmesan. So I'm gonna mix it and then set it aside. Look at that. God is kind of like not mixing very well. We got some chunks in there, but I think I think that's fun. Put a skillet over medium heat and brown the meatballs. I didn't even know there were meatballs involved in this. The more meatballs, the better. Extra in there for good measure. Easy. This is so easy. Ow, shit. That's like painful. Okay, here's the thing. In the video, it's showing that the meatballs are covered in marinara too. So I'm like, doesn't really say that though in the in the words. And I don't like marinara that much, so I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna do it. All right, looks like these are perfectly browned. Uncover the pasta. Wait, was I supposed to cover the? Mm, I missed an entire step of this. So I'm supposed to trim the ends so I have a neat shape. Ooh, that is satisfying. I'm just gonna put those over here. I'll fix that later. Spread the cheese mixture over the top third. I wonder if that means this or this. Yeah, I bet it's this because if you're gonna roll it up, it's gotta be in every bite. That's how sushi works. Look at that. Look at this. Ooh, I see a big pearl of ricotta in there. Whoever gets that bite's really lucky. Now I have to place a line of meatballs. Look at those, look at that. A little more than lightly browned. I would say that's um, adjacent to being burned, but you want some of that char flavor in there. I think it adds a lot to the spaghetti sushi. Carefully roll the sushi mat and pull slightly to tighten the roll. So I'm gonna take that. Oh, what? I'm doing it. Cut into slices and place upright like sushi. 
Look at that. Oh, okay. This is the good side. This is the side that something happened to it. Let's just roll this guy onto the cutting board. Oh, Jesus, it's falling apart. Okay, cutting. Everything was working so well until we had to cut it all. I think there are a couple in here that look like sushi. I can confidently say that my friends would not be impressed by this. Garnish with fresh basil, sea salt, black pepper, with a side of olive oil for dipping. Fresh basil, so good, so delicious. A little bit of Parmesan cheese, and serve. Here we go. Look at that. Cheers, everybody. It's good. It's good. Delicious, you're all gonna wanna try this at home. I would say at the end of this experience, I made this. I made it by myself and I made it pretty damn well considering how extra this entire process was. So thanks. <laughs>